have a Kenmore Elite uh, washing machine. Uh, it's an impeller based model. And I had a hard time getting this plate off. The, um, the washer spins, but, uh, well, it doesn't spin, but it, you hear the motor running, it acts like it spins. So to diagnose it, I have to get this off and get down inside. So this just pops off with a screwdriver. I've already done it. And then in my case, it was a 10 millimeter socket that just got this off here. And then the hard part was getting this off. Um, I tried like a screwdriver underneath here. Uh, one video on the internet said lift up on the edges here and it just sort of loosens it up, pops it up. That didn't work. Um, I put some WD-40 down in the middle here. Um, one guy said that if you need to let it sit for a while, that should work. Um, it might have helped, but it didn't work for me. Uh, so what I ended up doing is I found in the garage these um, flags that the um, utility company's put in your yard. And I just took uh, a pliers and I just bent them. bent them in a 90 degree angle with, with uh, pliers and I just put them in here like this and I just put them in the holes. I tried a, a coat hanger but a coat hanger wire was just a tiny bit, tiny bit too wide for these holes. Um, so I put them in here, put them in a 90 degree angle and then put them in there like that. And then I put four of them around here. And uh, since I don't have four hands, I got my son to help me. And we just yanked. We just yanked up on these. And uh, we had to work it for 15, 20 seconds. But in the end, it just didn't seem like it was going to happen. And then bang, it magically popped off. And there we go. We, we had this off. So <laughs> now I just I want to show you inside here. And I got to get it back off myself because my son's not around. Let's see inside here and I can continue to diagnose the problem.